Good morning. So today we're headed over to an, to a day trip. We're doing um, a trip to Eagle Lakes. If you watched some of our previous videos, you've seen where Eagle Lakes is, what we've done there. We've taken a two-wheel drive Tacoma up there. But today we have myself. We have a Dodge Ram lifted 4x4 aftermarket wheels uh, Toyota Land Cruiser. So We'll see you when we get there. See you on the trail. I'm being optimistic today, so the sun will come out, so I'm taking my sunglasses with me. We'll see. Nothing like repairs on trail day, huh? Yeah. It's the newbies. Boy, keep finding it. It's making this straighter. Let's go. Just start it. I don't know if you saw that, but that alternator pulley was completely crooked. It's I, I, I hope it doesn't come off, so we'll see. <laughs> so everybody, I'm here with Devin, and this is his 75 Land Cruiser. What's up? How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good. So, this was your dad's truck? Yep. Right? And then he passed it down to you? Yeah, and well, there was actually a middle store. He sold it in 2012. Oh, that's right. He sold it. Yeah. And you got it back. Yep. To a guy in Oregon. So his dad sold the truck and then he hunt the guy down and bought it back. So yep. that's, that's how that's how much he was attached to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so what have you done to it since you got it back? Um, since I got it, um, I just fixed it up. I put a sound system in it, new radiator, a uh, light bar, and it, I changed the exhaust. That's about it? Yeah. Other than that, it completely runs, everything's fine? Yep, other than that, it's exactly how it works. Okay. Oh, and I put a tack on the radiator. And what are you guys doing this morning? We were tightening the belt because it was too loose and it was squealing a lot. Because we okay. we over tightened it last night and it fell out. All right, all right. Yep. All right, so I guess the next thing you need on you will be a winch, right? Yep, a winch. Yeah, about a spinning belt, something. Yeah, spinning belt. Okay. Well, guys, there you have it. Let's uh, we'll see how he does on the trail. Yep. All right, so this is Sal. How you doing, man? Peace. So, you all know Sal from uh, uh, our last videos, has been in a lot of trails with me. And uh, this is your uh, 2004 Dodge. 2004 Dodge? It's actually my buddy for right now. Oh, so it's his buddy's 2004 Dodge. Uh, and then uh, you said you've prepared uh, the drive shaft on it, right? Yeah, we went with the uh, double card on um, drive shaft. The stock Dodge one snapped, it's not going to work right. Custom built 500. Well, is it, that's because of the height, right? Yeah, because of the six inch lift. Okay. It was uh, pulled out of the shaft way too much. So do you have a spare drive shaft uh, or, or are you just gonna let it no, go on rear? We're gonna go on rear. If, if it fails. It All right, well, we'll see how that goes. But she's lifted with 35, so we'll see. It's okay. just heavy, it's really heavy. Well, my, how much does it weigh? Uh, about 72, maybe 75. So my winch is 10,000 pounds. How much does your truck weigh? 4,500. No, it doesn't. It's more than that. It's 4,500. Yikes. All right. Well, maybe 47 yeah. with me in it. I don't know. But it weighs as much as my cruiser. Um, well, but if you get stuck, I'm going to have a tough time pulling you out. I don't have a hook in the front. <laughs> well, then I'm pulling you out from the rear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll see you. All right. See you guys on the trail. Um, I got a full tank right now. I'll probably do the same mileage as the Dodge, if not a little bit better. Alright, then for.
are at the Eagle Lakes staging area or they call it Indian Springs OHV staging area um, which is basically going to air down over here um, and head up the trail there's actually two trails one from here goes straight to Eagle Lakes and the other one uh, goes off to the right here and goes up to Signal Peak you can actually get to Signal Peak but it's a very um, you need a really modified vehicle for that trail from this side. I think it's easier from Cisco Grove, but I, I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna air down and head up Eagle Lakes Trail today. I got LTE here. So how many times did we change your belt today? Uh, three times? Four. <laughs> Four times. If you include citrus heights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what you get for getting a Toyota. So we made... What are you talking about? <laughs> We made three stops today to change the uh, the belt or to put the belt back on on the um, on the Land Cruiser. Uh, but it was you, you saw that angle. It was it was bound to happen. Probably come off one or two times more. <laughs>
it's almost it's almost the middle of January now and uh, we're fortunate to be able to come down this trail this time of the year because this is normally just full of snow there's usually about a good four or five feet of snow here um, and the last time we came here we actually came up here with quads at this time of the year so this is actually great we got water crossings because it's been raining a lot but not snowing um, so it's a rare opportunity for us to be here right now. Tell him to go. No? Yeah, go. So this was our destination for the day. So we're at Pierce OHV campsite and there are about um, maybe six campsites here. There's also a uh, restroom right there. That's the only one in this campsite. Um, so getting here, as you can see in the video, it's, it's a little challenging, but it's not too bad. With a little bit of snowfall, it actually becomes a little easier right now we just got big boulders that we have to cross um, lunch is chicken wings and chicken nuggets no they're what is it uh, boneless wings boneless wings well i guess you can call them chicken nuggets with some extra flavor so i gotta show you something the 75 land cruiser does not come with a cup holder <laughs> no practical so to improvise, this is the cup holder that you would do for a 75 Land Cruiser. You got two spots, he's a nurse. We had the uh, Land Cruiser in the front ahead of us and um, he dropped, he went through here and basically, as you can see, dropped himself in a hole. Um, so we just got to winch him back. He's not moving back or forward right now. 
Um, just set this up over here. He centered himself in the middle. He high centered himself in the middle there. That's it. We're done for the day. This is the end of the vlog. If you like what we do, please subscribe. There should be a button right here you can click. Also, don't forget to click the little bell so you get notifications when we put new videos online. Hope you enjoyed the day because we definitely did. See you later. Bye.